It was the winter of 1883. Just before Christmas that year, a botched robbery that left one man dead became the big news in Prince Edward County. The crime took place in this farmhouse on the outskirts of Bloomfield late on the evening of December 21st. The two robbers were after money, but they left a murder and within hours a posse hot on their trail. By the next morning, they were behind bars. Their trial took place at the Picton Courthouse in May 1884. Both George Lauder, 23, a bricklayer, and Joseph Thompson, a 35-year-old fisherman, pleaded not guilty. But it was their boots that led to their conviction. They matched the footprints in the snow that had led the law to their homes. On June the 12th, 1884, just before 8 o'clock in the morning, Louder and Thompson swung from the gallows before a curious crowd. Louder died first, but Thompson struggled for a full 14 minutes. Louder's grave was discovered recently in the Glenwood Cemetery in Picton, but Thompson is believed to be buried here under these trees in the prison courtyard. They were the only two men ever hanged in Prince Edward County.